what is up youtube welcome back to my channel so today we will going to be doing another unboxing it's going to be a quick one but i'm really excited again to do this unboxing because we have been anticipating um this device or to get this device for quite some time now let's get to it so today we're going to be unboxing the Nintendo Switch version 2 now the main difference is basically um, there is a Nintendo Switch version 1 um, you can uh, tell it right up front by the white box that um, it used to have but that's already been phased out um, now you know, whenever you buy to a store most likely you're gonna end up purchasing the version 2 it has um, an upgraded battery and it has some fixes or some minor fixes on, done in, onto it for the past couple of years uh, there has already been uh, a recent release maybe a couple of months ago or um, maybe roughly last year sometime last year if I'm not mistaken don't quote me on that however it is the uh, called the Nintendo Switch Lite so it's basically lighter, it's smaller in size, the screen is much smaller, the battery is much smaller as well, or, or the capacity. Um, yeah, that's basically it, but we would like to um, get the best out of Nintendo, since we won't be purchasing this on a daily basis. So I'd like to take advantage of the, um, uh, the standard um, hardware, or the best hardware that they have to offer. So yeah, let's just look outside the box, nothing much, just a logo, Nintendo, um, just a serial number, uh, okay, and then I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is how you can use it as a handheld device, you get the wireless Joy-Cons, um, the docking station, or you can plug it in to your connect it to your television which is nice so just a picture of the Joy-Con they call it Joy-Con um, but it's just basically the detachable controllers for the console so this is a gaming console let's open it up I'd like to be honest with you guys this has already been opened um, or unboxed uh, from the store where I purchased it uh, due to some uh, warranty purposes so there's no such seal actually so you can always unbox it without people knowing um, but yeah there's no there's no seal it's you can easily just open it up and then here's how it's the brief um, not much tell yep here it is voila so here are the um, left and right joy cons let's uh, have a look I really want this color the neon color of these joy cons nice I like the texture as well as the uh, build quality you can really feel it's premium see there's even lights illuminating there I'm not sure if it has the charge um, yeah most likely let's just put this aside let's take out the other joy-con okay nice Look at that neon color. It's so bright. Not sure if you guys can actually see. Uh, no, there you go. That's what it actually looks like. As close it is as it can get in person. Nice. Okay. And then of course the tablet itself. This is a touchscreen. Um, tablet so 
There's the Nintendo logo or the Nintendo Switch logo at the back of it. Let's just put this aside for now. Okay, let's see what's inside the box here. Uh, okay, just the basic. HDMI cable, so it's um, male-to-male -male HDMI or standard HDMI cable. Okay. And then this. Uh, so this is the power, of course. Uh, by the way guys, this is a um, Type-C USB charger or power adapter, which is nice. Uh, it means that it can deliver more power than the standard micro USB. Let's put it there. Sorry for my desk. It's um, There's actually too much clutter right now, but uh, yeah, I'll try to work it out. So these are the... Uh, attachments for the Joy-Cons Maybe it's on the it's for the other Joy-Con. Yeah, makes sense. Negative to negative, or there you go. So the good thing about this is, with one pair of controllers, you can actually um, play into player mode. So this will be for the um, one player, and then the other one. Or just this one here. Uh, this is gonna be for the second player. Uh, nope. What? How do you actually put this? This way? Oh, there you go. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. Nice. So tiny. I mean, compare that to a regular PS4 controller. A DS2. Oh, that's... It's pretty tiny. Okay, so... Enough for that. Next up will be... Oh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So, this is the. Let me remove these. This is where you put these Joy Cons if you'd like to experience. Um, like, if you plug in the. If, um, if you plug in the Nintendo Switch directly to your TV via the docking station and then you'd like to experience um, you know a regular um, how you play on a regular console this is how you do it I'm sure how you do this. Okay. wow that's super thin Look at that. So I believe this is a um, an IR or an infrared camera. Some games support that, so you'll be able to use that camera in some games. This is really nice.
Okay. So, this is one more thing that I've noticed. The lights coming up from here. It actually, there's like some kind of mirror. Um, mirror thing, uh, mirror thing, right inside there. So when you put in the Joy-Con, it actually illuminates the light through those um, plastics. It's pretty awesome for, you know, giving attention to that detail. Okay. And just some paperwork. Nothing much. And the last. Okay. And so that will be it. But this one here is. Of course, we know what, what this is. It's the docking station for the Nintendo Switch. It's just a pretty standard docking station. You got the L Nintendo Switch logo right, right in front, uh, as well as at the back. And then this side here, you can open this side like so. And then this is where you can plug in the HDMI cable right in here. So one end of that HDMI cable goes here, the other end goes to your television. Uh, USB, yeah, it's a USB port, USB 3 port, um, I think, based on the color coding, which is blue. Uh, maybe that's for accessories. And then of course for the power, where you plug in the power adapter, uh, which is a Type-C port. Then you have some cutouts here where you can route the cables. This is nice. Okay. And then of course the console itself. Nice. Okay, so right off here, we can see there is the vent for the heat sinks to keep the uh, console cool when you're using it. A 3.5 headphone jack, uh, the volume rocker, and the power button. Now here's where you place the game cartridge. Like so. And then on the other end, not much except for the Type-C port. Where you plug in the power adapter. So this is where you slide in the Joy-Cons to attach it to the console. Nice. Now, let me show you guys. I mean, because I've been using the PS4 uh, even way back from the PlayStation 1 um, back in the days. So, I've, I'm really used to using a standard uh, disc or a standard optical disc, like a DVD drive or a Blu ray disc when it comes to the PS4. Um, however, for the Nintendo Switch, since it is portable and you can't afford to put a CD-ROM on the unit itself because that's all gonna um, cause it to, you know, be bigger as, uh, you know, due to the manufacturing process, um, they actually adapted some sort of, I'm not sure if, what term they actually use for it, uh, I just call it a chip or a game chip, a game cartridge. If you look at the game cartridge, it's actually purchased one here, reused cartridge. Look how small it is. 
So this is by the way, let me just put this here for now. Look at that. It's like an inch um, long and half an inch for the width. It's super small. So tiny. By the way, this is the um, Animal Crossing game, which is very cute. Look at that. So it's like some kind of memory card. Imagine the entire game right inside this chip or this cartridge. Um, let me show you how you can, how you actually uh, place the cartridge inside. So you just pop this cover out, insert the cartridge. Like so. That's about it. Now, let's just test this out. So basically, you just attach once the um, you got the power attached, um, the HDMI cable attached to this docking station. All you need to do is to put in the console right here, and that will output the signal or the display as well as the sound to your television which is pretty cool that's why it's called switch in the first place because you do have the, an option to either use it as a handheld gaming console or standard um, a conventional console that you need to plug into the and play on your television which is really nice you don't have that luxury by the way um, if you're using a PS4 or an Xbox. So let's just attach the, the Joy Cons. It just, it's pretty straightforward actually. See? Really nice. Oh, by the way, guys, um, the there's also a um, micro SD uh, sl slot at the back of the console under the stand. So this is a uh, stand, so you can actually place it on top of your table and just play like play something like that. And there's the micro SD uh, memory slot. You need to use at least a class 10, minimum of uh, I think maybe eight, up to to 256 gigabytes, which is really nice. Now these are the speaker, uh, the, the speaker grills. much yeah so that's gonna be it for the video unboxing I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and hopefully I'll be able to post another video um, mostly focused on um, the pros and cons and basically a, a review about the console itself so I hope you guys like this video and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon peace